okay welcome to the class and in this I'm going to talk about the types of foreign exchange rate so we're going to talk about basically fixed exchange rate we're going to talk about the flexible exchange rate and then once we know these two then we will come to know what is the managed float managed floating system so I just want you to go through this so you know uh, like foreign exchange rate it's also known as forex rate is the price of one currency in terms of another which we've already discussed it links the currencies of different countries and enables comparison of international costs and prices so let's take an example so if we have to pay 70 rupees for one dollar then the exchange rate is 70 uh, rupees to one dollar so foreign exchange rate is the rate at which one currency can be converted into another currency. Nowadays I think it's gone to 74 odd rupees for a dollar. So foreign exchange rate is the rate at which one currency can be converted into another currency. So rupee is being converted into dollars, vice versa. So Different countries have different methods of determining their currency exchange rate. It can be determined through flexible exchange rate, uh, fixed exchange rate or managed floating exchange rate. So let's just talk about a little on fixed exchange rate. So what is a fixed exchange rate? So talking about the fixed exchange rate, we see that under the system exchange rate is fixed by the government. The basic purpose of adopting this system is to ensure stability in foreign trade and capital movements. So this goes back to the 1870s when we had the gold standard system. Under the gold standard system, all currencies were defined in terms of gold. Some currencies were actually made in gold. Each country was committed to convert its currency into gold at a fixed price. Exchange rates were determined by its worth in terms of gold. Alright. So, sometimes this was referred to as mint part value of exchange. So, after some time there was... Uh, like for example, uh, they say that if that was one British pound was exchangeable for 125 grams of fine gold and the US dollar for 25 grams, uh, uh, grains. So sorry, uh, the British pound was exchangeable for 125 grains of fine gold and US dollar for 25 grains. Then so what would, or let's just assume, sorry, then one pound would be equal to what? 125 divided by 25 is equal to 5s US dollars. So that's how the exchange rate was fixed as 1 pound is equal to 5 dollars. So this was referred to as mint part value of exchange. I mean this is not so in, uh, important in your exam so just for your information or you can read through it. Now uh, but this was broken down, this gold standard came to an end and Bretton Woods system was adopted. UN Na United Nations held a conference at Bretton Woods in the US as a result of which the IMF, that is the International Monetary Fund was established. Under Bretton Woods system, exchange rates were fixed. However, some adjustments within a certain limit was allowed. That is why the system sometimes is called the adjustable peg system of exchange rate. Okay. So in this, then we come to say flexible exchange rate. So what is that? It, the flexible exchange rates refers to a system in which exchange rate is determined by forces of demand and supply of different currencies in the foreign exchange market. And the value of currency is allowed to fluctuate freely according to changes in demand and supply of foreign exchange. Well, and there is no government intervention in the foreign exchange market. Flexible exchange rate, uh, rate sometimes was known as floating exchange rate. The exchange rate at which demand for foreign currency is equal to supply is called the equilibrium rate of exchange 
or par rate of exchange or, or the rate of exchange was determined there in the market where demand is equal to supply.